Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and this is Frankie Fitwolf. It's Sunday, so that means it's time for another week's weigh in. <laughs> All right, guys, happy Sunday. Hopefully you guys' weeks are going well, have gone well, continue to go well, all of that. I'm really hoping. I know this time of year has been really rough, especially with the weather, especially with things going on in the country. It's been a little rough. Um, you guys know if you've been watching my last few episodes, episodes on my television series, my last few videos, um, things have been rough for me mentally. I'm dealing with that and I'm actually really, really excited because I'm going to have insurance soon. March 1st, it kicks in so I can go to a doctor and finally address things that have been going on with my body and my head. So um, hopefully when that happens, I will be able to get into a better headspace and be able to get back to being more fun and creative on here. For now, I'm just doing what I need to do for my mental health. And so it's not that many videos, mainly weigh in videos, possibly do something else if the mood strikes, if the brain works to be able to do it without putting too much pressure on myself as far as it needs to be perfect. I mean, I watch my stuff. I know none of it's perfect. I don't know why I put this pressure on me, but I do and it's a thing and it stresses me out. So I've slowed that down, but I still love updating my weight on here because that helps keep me accountable. It helps keep me on track because I know you guys are going to be there. And even if it's a bad week, you, you still give me support, but I'm still reporting to somebody. And that has been super helpful to me. And I know several of you guys have said that maybe my stuff is actually helpful to you. So it's a win-win. Um, let's go ahead and get into the numbers, uh, because, well, the story of the numbers. I was shocked by them this week, happily shocked, but, um, leading up to weighing in, I, I full on 100% expected a game this week. Um, last Sunday I had my higher calorie day like usual, but it was a little bit higher than usual. So, and you guys know I step on the scale like every day. Um, but I only report it and track it on Sundays. Um, and normally, you know, sometimes from my, my higher calorie day, I can have a four to eight pound gain, four to six pound gain typically. This time it was eight. So I was like, all right, I'm going to behave. And then St. Louis, we got a snowstorm that for my job took me out of work for a few days and didn't have food. So there were some days where I had to get really, really creative with what I made because I couldn't get out because Robert didn't plan for it. I'm, I'm used to having other cars. This car that I have now does not do well in the snow. I need three new tires. Um, but all the cars I've had in the past, I've had no issue in snow. So I was like, I can get out easily. Luckily, one of the days my roommate did, he was able to get out. So he went and got me some stuff. So that was good. But so that happened and then went to work finally Wednesday and getting home was, I mean, it was an absolute nightmare. I was literally a block from home when my car started getting stuck. It took me an hour to get home from there, a block away, right, right, right over there. Because the car kept getting stuck, people end up coming and helping push my car and this and that and finagle away so that eventually I could just park and I parked my two blocks away. And then while I was walking home, somebody else got stuck. And so we were helping him push somebody else had come. Like that's one thing I'm super grateful for in a very stressful situation like that, not knowing what to do when your car is stuck in the middle of a street, people are coming and helping. It's, it was so nice. I'm so thankful for the neighbor, neighbors that are around me. Um, but so it was very, very stressful, which my stress and anxiety have already been high. Come Thursday, scared to leave my apartment because I don't want to deal with that trying to get back home. So back to the lack of good food because I didn't go to the dang store, which I'm kind of grateful for that. I wasn't, you know, doing all of that with like a ton of groceries. 
Um, but eventually I do get to the store um, because the sun comes out, it starts melting some. And sorry, there's a point to this, I promise. All of the anxiety leads to a fun panic attack. Um, luckily, it wasn't full-blown in the store, but if you get panic attacks, sometimes you can know that they're coming. And sometimes that can be helpful because you can try to talk yourself down. But there's this feeling of being trapped because I'm like, I have, I can't. Normally with a panic attack, I'll just leave. I am like, I can't. This is my one chance to get some food in the house. So I need to, like, otherwise, you know, what am I going to do? Because I'm not going to order and make somebody deliver food in this. So I need to do it. So, like, I'm shaking and, like, weird. I'm very grateful for masks because at least that hides half the face. But I'm, like, trying to calm down but can't because I'm feeling trapped. So Homeboy decides to get a big box of fried fish, a giant cupcake, like, it's like that big. Um, and I forgot what else. But yeah, I went way over my calories. Way over. And all this is leading up to the point, I know, I'm sorry, six minutes in. But leading up to the point that I had several days this week that did not go according to plan. But what I love about what I am doing with my calorie counting and my protein tracking is I can have days like that and still adjust. Now, Thursday, I honestly did not know how many calories I had. I had reached that point where I just did. And that cupcake, since it's a local brand, they didn't even have nutritional facts on there. So I guesstimated based off of other ones, but you never really know. Um, but have a high calorie day. What do you do? You lower your calories the next day. And that's what I did for Friday and Saturday not to the point that I'm starving. It's not like I had 500 calories or anything like that. I still had steak. I still had an awesome big sub sandwich. I still had my soup. I still had fish the next day because honestly, it tasted really good. I'm like, I'm going to do that again. 700 calories for a box. Okay, fine. I'll eat all six. Not the healthiest choice. I do realize. I do realize that. I know I talk a lot about wanting to have healthier options. Sometimes though, I don't. Fish is healthy. The fried part, not so much. It happened. It's fine. I tracked what I could track. Stayed within my current goals. And let's just go ahead and do the numbers. I'm sorry. We're eight minutes in. I'm sorry. Okay. So I stepped on the scale this morning. And despite everything this week, I am now 288.4 pounds. So that means I lost 2.4 pounds this week. And here's a really, really cool part. I've lost 88.4 total, and I have 88.4 to go. I'm at the halfway mark. I I didn't, I was, I don't know if you guys remember a few videos. I was like, I should do the math and figure out what will be a halfway point. The scale did it for me. Like when I plugged it into iTrack Bytes, um, that, you know, what my weight is, and it was like, oh, you've lost 88.4. And I'm like, my goal weight's 200. So that means I also have 88.4 to go. It's pretty spiffy. Um, so yay. Uh, so anyway, so with that, um, my goals, my mini goals. You guys know I started doing a mini goal of every five pounds to lose. So that I, I'm focusing on getting to that next five pound mark. And then I reward myself with, you know, clothing, with optional things, whatever. Um, I, so I've hit that because that was to be at 289.6. So since I'm at 284.6 or 284.4, uh, 288.4. I wrote that wrong. But yeah, 288.4. Either way, I'm under that five. So I've hit another five pound milestone. Now I, I had to write on my board here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, two rewards owed. Because I, I have not been able to reward myself from last time. Uh, so I have two rewards owed. But um, I'm going to throw on here. I do really want a tattoo. Like, it's faded from what I drew. But a creepy smiley face or some Harley Quinn diamonds on my finger. Um, so maybe I'll bank a couple of these, a few of these, and justify paying for that. 
Um, I also need my nails done because they're starting to look like French tips because they're growing so far. Um, so I think one of those is going to have to be my reward because with the weather, with how slow we've been, finances aren't wonderful right now. Story of my life. I know you guys know that. But um, either way, so I'm going to bank some of these rewards and treat myself nicely later. Um, but cash them in whenever I want to, basically. Because there are some several fun things on there that I can do. All right. My other mini goal. I'm sorry. I'm talking a lot today. I think I'm starting to be a little bit mentally better since I'm just rambling on and on and on and on. Um, but anyway, my other goal, mini goal, besides the giant weight loss goal which I'm only 88.4 pounds to go, which I've already lost that, so I know I can lose the next. Um, but anyway, is I have a camping trip in September, and there's a lot of hiking, there's a lot of steep hills, maybe not a ton of hiking, but a lot of steep hills, and last time I was there, I did get out of breath very easily, and a little embarrassing, blah, blah, blah. So I decided to make that a goal for myself, um, I did the math to, so that I would average a pound and a half per week and, um, I didn't do the math on it. Okay. So anyway, the goal for that is 249.1. Um, I did not update how much farther I have to go. 249.1, 288 288.4. Minus 249.1. I did this last video. I'm going to do the math on the screen somewhere. And that's what it is. I'm sure it's like 39-ish more pounds to go. I don't know. Um, it'll be on the screen somewhere. I should have done that first. I'm losing it, guys. But either way, on track with that. I've had a couple of weeks where I've barely lost. But then I've had several weeks like this week where I've lost 2.4. So that's a pound over my one and a half pound goal. So I think it's very doable. I think I'm going to get there. I'm excited. Things are looking up as far as my weight loss and physical health goal goes, goes. Now, if I can just work on my mental health, it'll be wonderful. All right, well, I put this on because it was cute and it's hot now. So I'm gonna end this video and I will talk to you guys later. Oh, like, comment, subscribe.